Fellow South Africans, today is an extraordinary day. It's a day where the actions of President Jacob Zuma can only be described as treasonous. It's actions that are taken not in the interest of all South Africans, certainly not in the interest of the well-being of the Republic. It's become quite clear that Jacob Zuma no longer cares about the people of this country and therefore we are left with no option. The very fundamental option that we've got to take, as many of you would have noted, is that I have already tabled a motion of no confidence to ask Parliament to convene and remove Jacob Zuma. The question before us is always about the leadership of this country and I believe we can be a prosperous nation. But at times like this, when you have leaders like Jacob Zuma who no longer act in those interests, we have to have make sure that he's removed. The call for a motion of no confidence must come from all political parties and must be joined by those uh, citizens, such as um, South Africans in the ANC, who still want to put South Africa ahead of any other thing. Second to that is we believe while the motion of no confidence is not debated in the House, we call on Speaker Balek Ambete to convene Parliament urgently so that the matter can be debated. I have also instructed our legal team to take deliberate action today to go to the Western High Court to file an urgent interdict against Jacob Zuma from being able to swear in his ministers. I believe in that way we need to keep status quo as it stood yesterday so that the debate can proceed and that in fact if a motion of no confidence was to succeed it goes without saying that that cabinet would have to be dissolved. Therefore we are calling on the speaker to convene that session urgently and that the courts to interdict the swearing in of all the respective new ministers that are coming on board. Lastly, I'm calling on all South Africans. On Friday next week, this coming week, I will be calling on all civil society, political parties, NGOs, businesses, together, together in the city of Johannesburg. Because it is parliament that appoints the president and it should be parliament that fires the president. Therefore, all of us must gather together in the city of Johannesburg to march to the Tuli House, to call on all the ANC and the MPs to join in this action to remove Jacobs. These are extraordinary times, and we need to stand together beyond party colors, party jackets. So in essence, I'm saying that today is about moving that motion, putting an urgent interdict into court so that we stop this mad treasonous sections of signing in ministers. Thirdly, that all of us gather at the Tuli House, gather in Johannesburg, to, um, to call on the ANC, to call on all political formations, that Zuma must be removed. I am supportive of actions of all the people who are gathering, those who are at Treasury and in many different places. It is a time now for all of us as South Africans to say, what future do we seek to build collectively? And I stand here today to say, as dark as today might feel to so many of us, there is always an opportunity for all of us to stand together, for this country belongs to all who live in it. This is not Jacob Zuma's country. It is the people of South Africa's country. Therefore, the actions that we take collectively are far stronger than the actions that, we're, that one man can take. Therefore, I ask that at this time we look ahead, we build a future, we can remove Zuma, we can ensure that this economy heads in the right direction. People have asked me what would happen if a motion of no confidence was to succeed. The fundamental issue there is that this is not about regime change. This is about saying let's get the right leadership. Therefore, any candidate that if the NC was to put forward, we would compel all people to get behind them because we still own strong that South Africa deserves a leadership that can chart us into a prosperous future. Jacob Zuma isn't that. And that is why we have to enjoin all South Africa to focus on tomorrow. I believe as dark as today is, our tomorrow will be better. It is the best start that we can make to remove Jacob Zuma in a chartered way to build a united and prosperous South Africa for all. I think.